What's up, y'all? It's me, your girl, True Siri 1111, back with another video. So, um, I'm gonna do a whatever comes out video, but I'm gonna do a little different this time. I'm incorporating names into it, okay? And I'm giving my subscribers the option to join in. You can add names if you would like to, um, as you can see. We got a bunch of names in here. So, throughout the video, probably in the th once I get to the middle of the video, I'm going to go in here and pull six names. The six names I pull, somehow, you're going to resonate with these messages, okay? I need y'all to discern the um, messages best as you can, alright? Sometimes, the message could be for you. The whole reading don't have to be for you. It could be a message in there that's going to give you an aha moment, okay? It's energy that I'm picking up on, which means I could say he, but it could be a she that I'm talking about. It's energy. I read energy, all right? We are pulling zodiac signs to help you use your discernment, okay? So with the zodiac signs and the names, it'll help you discern a little better. You know, I get a lot of comments on my videos says, oh, well, that's not me. You know, all the messages are not going to be for you. Okay. But these are some more clues that will help you discern if the video was for you. All right. So we're going to jump right in. So the zodiac signs I'm going to read for. Pull three zodiac signs and get y'all some messages. Spirit, can I get three zodiac signs, please, that this message is going to resonate with? The energy I'm picking up on, can we make love, good love all night? So someone is in this lustful energy. They, they want to make love to you, whoever this is going to resonate with. But they want to do it all night. <laughs> Zodiac sign this reading is going to resonate with. We have Leo. Leo is a fire sign. Passion. They're all about passion. We have Gemini. <coughs> Excuse me. And one more spirit. I'm here and get your groove on. This could be someone a little older. I ain't hear the word groove in so long. <laughs> and we have a cancer. Someone fantasize about you. They fantasize about how you, you feel. I, I'm here and I love the way you feel. They love it when y'all on the couch. Y'all can have sexual intercourse on the couch. I'm hearing, girl, I love it when I'm downtown. So they love going down on you. <laughs> this is not me, y'all. This is this really the energy I'm picking up on, okay? So you can have Leo in your fifth house. You can have Gemini in your third house. You can have Cancer in your fourth house. Or you know, you can have it somewhere in your chart. You know, I advise y'all get y'all charts um, and study them. The number 534 could also resonate with you. I'm seeing the number 69. I'm seeing the number 2. Okay. Six, 692. These numbers could resonate with someone. Okay. So we're going to start. Get y'all Oracle message. I'm here and I'm bad at love. So that automatically tells me you didn't grow up with the proper love you should have had. All right, so if you don't receive the proper love, you're not going to be able to accept it or give it, okay? And speaking of love, self-love came out. 
damn. Before I start the reading, here he comes. <laughs> All right, so Leo, Gemini, and Cancer. Y'all have to show yourself self-love. The love that your parents was, didn't give you, you need to show it. Give it to yourself, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me, they are definitely trying to fuck with my um, throat chakra. Or maybe y'all need to um, have your throat chakra aligned, Leo, Gemini, and Cancer. All right. But most importantly, self-love. It's self-love is more than getting up, showering every day, you know, throwing that shit on, just making yourself look good as well as feel good. It's, it's healing your inner child, all right? We don't have the best of parents. Some of our parents were young when they had us, all right? I'm hearing I'm just bad at it, bad at love. I'm here and I keep messing up my love life. But it's because you need to learn self-love. Okay? You got to go within. Ask your angels and your ancestors to help you in love. Okay? I'm here and I didn't mean it. I'm here and I did some things to you and I knew it wasn't cool. And I'm here and please forgive me. Someone wants your forgiveness or Leo, Gemini, or Cancer. Y'all could be the ones who want someone's forgiveness. So rejoice and celebration. Number three could resonate with someone. So this is definitely something with a third party. Three people celebrated something. And whatever happened, it didn't go the way they planned for it to go. And now they want your forgiveness, okay? I'm hearing if you knew how bad I wish that I could love you, so... Someone could have broken your heart. They just didn't give you the proper love. You could have loved on them, but they didn't reciprocate that love. We have three, fertility. Okay. I'm here and I told you a million lies. This person was a liar. They didn't know how to love correctly. They could have breadcrumbs you. So we have fertility, discontent, and boredom. We have a spiritual union. So this person could have been your divine partner. They probably didn't know that they that you were. But they wanted to be somewhat of a player. And lie to you and lead you on. Someone could be expecting. We have a lot of green on the board. And as you can see, green is here. Someone needs to open up their heart. Your heart chakra could be out of alignment. All I'm hearing, I keep messing up my love life, okay? So they fucked up their own spiritual union, basically. But they're in deep regret. You know, they, they're, they're looking like this. Discontent and boredom, they just don't know what the fuck to do. We have 3342 could resonate with someone. King of Wands involved in this too. I'm hearing I could teach the lessons, girl, if that's what you want. Someone wanted someone blind in this situation. Or also what I'm seeing is you're going to have a choice to make between two people. And these two people are fighting over you. Spirit, clarify, rejoice, and celebration. Clarify, rejoice, and celebration.
Rejoice in celebration, spirit. I'm here and I want to be your blessing. I'm here and I want to lick your body down. That's you. You busy focused on lustful things when you need to focus on self love. We have strength and we have the six of cups. All right. So strength is Leo. Six of Cups talks about your past. It could be they're just having past nostalgia about you. It could be someone from your past or it could be someone from your past life, okay? Someone's needing to have strength in this situation, though, in order to celebrate this spiritual union. Why is fertility here? So this person that's so lustful over you, over you, Probably wants to have children with you. We have a King of Pentacles here. Okay. Could be a Taurus involved in this situation. Taurus could want to have children with someone, or they had a child with someone, or this could be a birth of a new idea. Spirit. Discontent and boredom. I'm here. My whole life has changed. Since you came in, someone could be watching you. I'm hearing you are that special one. And they're so in love. Someone could be watching you and they fell in love watching you. Could be the stars. You are so sweet. Here we go with three of cups again. So these people thought they were going to celebrate something. This third party. But now they're feeling discontent and bored. I'm hearing I'm doing things I never do. This is justice for them to feel, uh, be stuck in this energy. Or it's going to be your justice to celebrate this spiritual union. What's the spiritual union here, Spirit? We have the Ace of Pentacles and Judgment. It's judgment, all right? It's spiritual union. This is God having handing you this spiritual union. So say if one of these signs, Zodiac signs, Cancer, Gemini, or Leo, did something to interrupt or interfere with your spiritual union, your divine union, they're under judgment for this. I'm here and never thought about settling down. So whoever you are, you could have woke your person up. Like I said, your person could be this Taurus. Your person could be this Leo. And I'm here and now I put you first now. You made me. All right. Maybe they didn't know that you were their divine partner and they shitted on you somehow. And these other zodiac signs celebrated this separation between y'all. Spirit, clarify the strength in this Six of Cups. I'm here so deep in love. So, what these people have planned actually backfired. If they planned on separating you and your divine partner, it backfired. And it made this divine partner of yours fall in love with you more. But it was... God's doing. It was, that's justice for you and your partner. The sun. I'm here and I'm so happy. Could be a Leo out here that's happy. Or something could be resonated about two children. I'm hearing I'm so in love. I'm addicted to your love. Someone could be addicted to either your love or your energy. All right. Since you came in, I knew back then that you were the special one. Spirit, why is this King of Pentacles here? I'm hearing you made my life complete. That's like a complete circle. That's the world. I wouldn't be surprised if the world card came out. But they glad that you came into their life. 
King of Pentacles. So we have the Three of Pentacles. So this is like teamwork. Something will be going on with your job. Or these three of people. Remember I said it was third party. Worked with this Taurus or worked against this Taurus. Spirit, what's this Three of Cups and this Justice Spirit? Thank you. So we have the Queen of Swords and the Reverse. So this is definitely an air sign. Air sign is a Gemini. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could also be lies. Upright is the truth. And the reverse is the lie. So some third party could have told some lies to your partner about you. But you're going to get justice in this situation. Spirit stepped in to balance out the scales. That's why the Ace of Pentacles is here. And judgment. Spirit, clarify this Ace of Pentacles and his judgment, please. Thank you. So we have the temperance and the reverse. They under judgment because something was, it was an imbalance with something. Someone could be going to prison or they could just be stuck in their own mind, keeping herself in a self-imposed prison. But you see how someone came in and cutting them free? See the sword? This could be your angel stepping in to bring balance into this situation. I'm here. How I'm supposed to miss you every night? Someone is missing you. I'm here. We had one argument that changed. Something. An uh, argument changed something. I'm here. How are you going to forget all the things we did in one argument? Sound like someone doesn't want to let someone go. This could also be a fallen angel. So someone is really missing your energy. They're missing the love that you gave them. But instead of them focusing on healing and their self-love, they focus, they did, you're, whoever you are, whoever this is going to resonate with, you're focused on the wrong thing. I'm hearing your friends ain't got to know. Someone could be, could have been trying to keep you a secret. How you going to forget all the things we did? I'm hearing, how you going to tell me I was playing games? So someone could have been playing games with you. Messages for this reading spirit, whatever comes out reading. Peacemaker. You could have been a peacemaker in this situation or this person wants to come in playing a peacemaker. Could be some type of police officer. One of these people I'm speaking of could be a police officer. I'm hearing how do I breathe? College professor could have had something to do with something. PCP or wet. Someone could be on drugs. Someone could smoke something called wet. It's PCP cocaine or heroin so someone here is on heavy drugs in this situation or these people remember I said someone could have lied on you they could have said you smoke wet and did cocaine or heroin they could have lied on you or like I said these people could be on this shit and projecting their negative negative energy off on you I'm hearing I shouldn't have never went nowhere 
Damn, we have a doctor could be involved in this situation. Someone probably need to go see a doctor. We have two weeks. We have in the river. Something could be found in a river in two weeks. Maybe someone needs to go near the river and meditate. Get some enlightenment. I'm hearing I'm losing my mind. Yes, I made so many mistakes. So someone know they made a mistake in this situation. And now they found that the joke is on them. I'm hearing I know the dude is replacing me. So this person needs to focus on self-love. They worried about someone replacing them. Remember on one of these, I said, well, it was the um, Eight of Swords and a guy was cut and loose, this girl. You could have been binded to the situation and this person is going to come in and free you. It could be a police officer or a college professor or a doctor. Someone could have tapped in and found out they have hidden knowledge. This could be you. This could be this police officer. It could be this college professor or this doctor. Thank you, spirit. Whatever this situation is, something here is priceless. It's a movie called Priceless too. Um, maybe someone should go check out the movie called Priceless. I forget exactly what it's about, but I know I did watch it. It was pretty good. Too many spirit. Just need two more. I'm hearing just come back to me because girl, you make it hard to breathe. Someone wants you to come back because it's it's hard for them to breathe. This is how they feel and it's the energy that they're in. Thank you, spirit. Something about the Department of Treasury. You can have money sitting in the Department of Treasury and you don't know. Someone could work for the Department of Treasury in this situation. You have a lot of energies out here. A lot of people out here. One more spirit. Someone's very emotional right now. One more spirit. Thank you. Joy. You're about to once I, I believe that the Department of Treasury might reach out to someone and it's gonna bring a lot of joy to you. This could take place in two weeks. Something about a judge. Remember, I said someone was under judgment. A judge could reach out to you in two weeks and tell you something about this Department of Treasury. It's gonna bring you a bunch of joy. You will be rejoicing a celebration. I'm hearing it's showtime. Someone here could have been putting on a show or putting up some type of front. I'm hearing I'm a dangerous man with some money in my pocket. Okay. And we have this King of Pentacles. This is someone with money. 2411 on the clock. Check out that angel number, guys. All right. So at this point, I'm going to pull some names. To my subscribers, um... You have the option, if you like, to add some names to the name, the bag of names, if you like, um, just to give you a way to participate in my channel. Um, I do read the um, comments, so I will add the names as you put them, but you have to be a subscriber. I will be checking to see if you are a subscriber or not. Someone could run into some money because I keep hearing I'm a dangerous man with some money in my pocket. Keep up. <laughs> so what I say? I'm going to pull, what, six names? We 
have one, two, three, four, five, six. So these names that I pulled could be your name, the name of a police officer, college professor, or what was it? <coughs> Someone that works at the Department of Treasury, or this doctor, all right? So, like I said, it could be your name or people that's in your energy's name. So first name we have, we have someone named Rosalind. Aaron with the E. We have Anne. We have someone named Elmer. Someone's name could be Harriet. And we have Ivan. All right. So, you guys, if you wasn't sure if this was your story or it sounded like maybe this was your story and you don't know, these hopefully these names spring a bell. This could be your name. It could be a passed over loved one's name. It could be one of your auntie, uncles, grandma, whoever name. All right. Now we're going to pull from the Kipper deck to get the outcome of the situation. The outcome of the situation is very please and thank you. All right. We have um, coffin. It's going to be an ending to some type of situation. Or it could be someone that's passing away or someone that has passed away already. All right. Number 19 could resonate with someone. Outcome to the situation, spirit. Something about a house. Someone could have passed away and left you a house. Um, okay. This is for Elmer, Harriet, Ivan, Ann, Aaron, or Rosalind. Could have passed away and left you a house. Or this is your name and this house belongs to you. Outcome to the situation. Thank you, spirit. We have a thief. Okay. So someone... Someone passed away and left you a house and someone stole this from you. They could have been paid to do this. Unexpected income. Remember I said someone could work in the Department of Treasury. They could have been paid off to take this or change some type of information that was there. Um, to remove your information off and put someone else's information in there. Like forging documents or some shit. Outcome to the situation, or this it could be you getting this unexpected income from this damn thief that stole this. Remember, I said someone from the Department of Treasury could be reaching out to you, and it's going to bring you some sort of joy. Okay, thank you, Spirit. So we have number 33. Someone could be concerned for being a false person because they're under adjudication. Some type of court case. Some, the lawyers or, I mean, you know, the judge. Remember, well, we did have judge. Look how the judge looking at them like whatever. They they would, someone could have went to court and lied. This judge, look how he looking. He not playing. He looking like, bitch, you expect me to believe that goofy ass shit? Someone that lied on you to steal your house that your passed on loved one left you. Maybe you need to contact the Department of Treasury and find out. Thank you, Spirit. If um, something was left to you. Okay. We have a mature man. It could have been a mature man that either stole it or a mature man that left it for you. Mature woman. This is a couple. And if you look in front of what this, who's in front of this judge, it's a man and a woman. So a couple, a mature couple could have stolen this from you or been hiding it from you. Or they could have been the ones that left it for you. It could be a mom, dad, a grandma, lovers, an occupation. 
Alright. Someone could be a seamstress. You could be into clothes, making clothes, or... Your lover could have had something to do with this situation. Alright. That's why I said balance is about to be brought into this situation. Your angels and ancestors stepped in to bring balance into this situation. Leo, Gemini, Cancer, Taurus could have been the ones involved in stealing this from you. Okay. But you need to have strength through it all. Okay. In the end, though, this is going to bring you some type of joy. All right. What's at the bottom? Yeah, Distant Horizon. This is going to take place really soon. In the Distant Horizon, you're going to get a message. It could be from the Department of Treasury. All right. You could have been working hard when you were in reality. You didn't have to work hard because you had some some type of inheritance or some type of um trust fund or something. You know, though, you saying you expecting this, whoever you are. All right. But expect the message to come in. It's going to bring you so much joy. It may hurt at first that these people would even do this to you. But you're going to have joy in the end. Okay. It's definitely a thief involved. Okay. I'm hearing my son. Something about a son. You could be a male. This could resonate with a male because it said my son. It's going to get you an angel prayer, whoever this is going to resonate with. Then I'm going to end the video out. Spirit, can I get a prayer, an angel prayer for this reading? One more, please. I'm here, and I never seem to get my way. So, this sounds like if someone was jealous of you. They, they mad because you got your way, and they didn't. The fuck? You could be alone. I'm hearing I'm tired of being alone when everyone else is so lovey-dovey. All right, so it says, Thank you, Animal Kingdom, for blessing my path with love. And you know in the beginning of the reading, it's about self-love, all right? So you could be um connecting with your spiritual animal. I don't know if this is an eagle or a hawk. You see the spirit? I mean, an animal. You could be seeing bird feathers or collecting bird feathers. Connect with the music. Thank you, angels, for inspiring me through music. So you could be um, somehow connected with music and it becomes music becomes an inspiration for you or you need to let it be an inspiration for you. Because then within that song or that music, it's messages in there for you from your ancestors or your past over loved ones. So thank the angels for inspiring you through music. Thank the animal kingdom for blessing your path with love. You need to get in touch with your inner child. Heal your inner child. Okay? That's what I have for y'all. Again, the names are Rosalind, Aaron, Anne, Elmer, Harriet, Ivan, okay, guys, y'all need to thank your angels and your ancestors, thank the Holy Spirit, they are helping you and guiding you through this situation, listen to music, okay, I'm hearing I ain't been perfect, but I've been different, you're different, I'm hearing this, but it's time for me to live up to the love that I have in my soul. Okay? Self-love. You need to give yourself the love you didn't receive as a child. Okay? Listen to your heart. Listen to your angels and ancestors. Go near this river. Okay? And you pray. You meditate. Ask the universe. Ask your angels for a sign. Okay. 
guys. You know, I don't ask for donations. I don't ask for nothing but you guys to like, subscribe, and share the videos, okay? Hit the notification bell so you can know when I do videos. Okay. That's the only support I ask from you guys, all right? So I could keep the messages coming to you. For those who that who needs it, it could be a message for your child one day. You never know, all right? Don't forget, if you want your name added or someone's name added in a pile of names, you're welcome to do so. Wish you nothing but the best in your future endeavors. And I, I pray that you experience this joy that is about to come into your life in the near future. Okay? Peace, love, light, and blessings to you guys.